I wasn't going to make this show kind of an impromptu show about the 78 World Championship qualifier. There was a guy on another website and he was posting wrong information and he was trying to make me look like a liar regarding this event. Uh -huh. So I decided I'd go ahead and set the record straight. I'm going to set the record straight. You might want to watch to the end. We're going to have some interesting stuff regarding this event. And we appreciate you subscribing, liking this show. We appreciate you. Bueller. Anyone? On September 16th on 78, there was a World Championship qualifier. The first event was held at the Santa Ana Bowl, Santa Ana, California. And I was on the cover of the program of that World Championship qualifier. It was a three-part series. The first part was at Santa Ana, Southern California. Ladies and gentlemen. And then the next two rounds moved up north to Northern California, Sacramento Fairgrounds, and the Auburn Speedway. <laughs> they had the top 16 riders at that event. And they had four rides. Normally they have five rides, but they had only four rides for a possible maximum of 12 points. Is that timing or what? The result of that event was as follows. There was a tie, maximum 12 points for two riders. And that was the amazing Denny Pyatt and the Boogaloo Bobby Schwartz. There was a tiebreaker runoff at the end of that event. And Denny Pyatt, he took down the Boogaloo. So Denny Pyatt was the winner of that event. Since Bobby Schwartz, he lost the tiebreaker, he got second place in that event, right? And then third place with 10 points was the Spider-Man, Mike Bloom. There was a four-way tie with nine points for fourth place. And that was Mike Faria, flying Mike Faria. And I finished with nine points that event. And I was tied for fourth with Rich McMurray and Dennis Robinson. Ah, uh, okay. And with seven points in that event was the wild man, Wild Bill Cody. Oh boy. I have to interject something. When Denny Pyatt came to Santa Ana Speedway, he was a raw young rider. He was just learning how to ride and he was fairly easy to beat. And Denny was next to me in the pits. He was riding around. He's warming up his bike in this picture. But Denny made an amazing comeback. I mean, this guy just turned out to be an incredible rider. Like he ended up winning that event with a maximum of 12 points and beating the Boogaloo in a tie-breaking runoff race. That was pretty good. And Denny Pyatt was coming into his own. I had posted the last Speedway event in uh, Facebook in some different motorcycle Speedway uh, different groups. And one of these guys, Tracy Holmes, he went ahead and disputed what I had to say. And he sent me a photocopy here of the, ra the race results. Tracy had told me that it's been a long time ago and that I lost my memory, that things fade and the truth seems to blur. But that's not true because I was there as a writer, got nine points in that event. And Tracy was a spectator and he's probably a great guy. However, it felt made me feel bad that somebody would say like I was lying about the post, which is not true. We all go a little mad sometimes. He had mentioned, which was very interesting, that the world final was held September 2nd that year in 78, and this event was like the 16th of September. So I'm not quite sure how that all fit in. Probably was for the following year in 79. Don't look, Marion. Keep your eyes shut. I had got injured in round two in Sacramento. I had totally got wiped out. So I'm not quite sure who won that three event meet, but I was kind of injured and 
I really didn't care because I wasn't feeling really well. I can't stop eating. I had read an old race report back in 79. They had the same qualifier at the Santa Ana Bowl, which I kind of had no idea really happened. And I read that Bruce Penhall didn't like it. He got nine points in that event. He was like eighth place. He didn't do that well for Bruce Penhall. And he was complaining that Santa Ana Bowl was hard to pass because it was such a small track. And it was hard to pass. It was like a Costa Mesa size passing area. It was very small, but it was a long track. Tracy, he posted these results like they were the 78 results. However, I know they were the 79. Why? Because Bruce Penhall did not race in 78. You can see the program. In 79, Bruce Penhall did race that event. So he was mixing the 78 and 79 championship results. I understand that. Laugh out loud. The race results in 79 were quite different than the race results in 78. The winner of that event was Bobby Schwartz. He was second place the year before, and he won that event in 79. second place was the champion the machine Mike Bass he got second place he did a lot better in 78 he was like in eighth place or something and in Kelly Moran he got third place in that event and Steve Gresham little Stevie Gresham he got fourth place in the 79 championship My memory certainly did not fade me. I was there, I had a chance to experience it. It's a great event. It was the first championship race I was involved in and it was really like an event and we had to work hard to try to do well in that particular race. And here are some of the sponsors. We had some of the sponsors from that race night in the program. We had the old fashioned country cooking of the Belial's restaurant over there by Disneyland, Harbor Boulevard and Garden Grove Boulevard or whatever it was. And they're no longer there, but the Belial's restaurant was one of the proud sponsors of that AMA World Championship qualifier. Also, I was able to make a section where I was thanking the sponsors, the helpers that helped me in that particular race event. And during the season, I had a lot of great support. They had sold advanced sell tickets for that event. It was five bucks for adults. Teenagers was three dollars. And under like six years old was free. Five dollars. We should have Brad Oxley take those prices up today. Woo! Vera's Leathers. Vera's Leathers. They sponsored a full page ad during that event. And they had Mike Bass as one of their riders for Vera's Leathers. I was there. I was a Vera's Leather rider. They had the animal Jim Fishbeck, Keith Crisco, and Bill Herbert. The 78 World Qualifier did not turn out the way I wanted it, but it was a great event for some of these riders who went to Europe. They succeeded. The Morans, these kind of riders, Penn Hall. They all got a lot of experience from these particular events. The 78 World Qualifier was an event. It was an AMA sanctioned event. It was a very amazing event. And they better put the event in the history books because I saw that they showed that there was no event racing in 78. However, they're wrong. There was an event. Take that blank space and fill it in. And it was just a great event. And we want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today in the jungle talking about that particular world championship event it was great a lot of great riding it was fast these guys were fast and they're fast today too so thank you so much and we appreciate you appreciate you watching the show thanks again and we're gonna see you i'm gonna see you next time